Hi everybody and welcome back to another Trading Card Tuesday. Today we have this super duper beat up blister pack from Black and White. I actually found this in Walmart the other day. Look at it, it's super beat up. In Walmart the other day on clearance. This was made, if you can see here, in 2011. 2011 that is a seven-year-old blister pack in Walmart with all black and white base sets seven dollars this was a seven dollar item in clearance and it was buried behind a whole bunch of other blisters and as you can tell it has been through some rough times but hey it's got three black and white base set packs in there and we're about to dig right into them so let's go ahead and dig right into these older packs it kind of hurts me to open this, but the packaging is so beat up, uh, I really don't have a choice. I mean, I do have a choice, but you know. I was going to open for you guys anyways, but it's just cool to have, to see something like this. I actually just like bought in Walmart, you know, not from someone on eBay or something. Like, this was still in Walmart. The seven-year-old set was still in Walmart. I mean, we're in Sun and Moon. This is stuck to the, look at that, it is stuck to the pack. I mean, we're in, we're a good ways into Sun and Moon now, guys. And this is black and white base. Black and white base set. This thing came out when I was in high school. I was a senior in high school when this came out. And I am three years out of college. What in the world? Why is this glued to the pack? Like, look at this. You see this? That is, ugh. Dang. I hope they're not all like, oh my gosh. Why? Why is this like this? This is a terrible, terrible packaging decision. I don't know, maybe like all the black and whites were like that back in the day, but dang. Oh. Oh, gosh. I don't like this at all. Yeah, this is terrible packaging. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get it off as gently as possible. I got one free. So we got this other one free. I think this third one is also free, actually. So we got our three black and white packs. What was the card? I don't even remember what the card was. It is a black and white 07 Tepig Hollow promo. Oh, I actually hit my camera there. And the coin. I don't think I have this coin either. It is the black and white starters. Nice little shine there on the coin. Set that aside. Put all this trash to the side. And let's hope for some good pulls from these somewhat throwback packs. I mean, they're not they're not new. I mean, these packs are seven years old, so I'm going to go ahead and say a throwback is the right word. I wouldn't say vintage. This is throwback. Vintage is... Look at the reflection on this. Like, that's the legit reflection, like, reflective material. Look at that. All right, here we go. Oh, also there was no code cards in these. Interesting. Black and white base did not have code cards. Alright, here we go. We have the Tauros ripoff. The Jigglypuff ripoff. The Waste of Pokemon. <laughs> Switch, Lillipup, Darumaka, a Snivy, Deerling, a Reverse Jigglypuff ripoff, and our rare is a Cinchino, Chinchino, I'm not really sure what that one was called. All right, on to our next one. We got a black and white Rush Ram pack, and let's just jump right in. All right, Ugh. okay. I keep flipping it over to show you guys, give you guys the code card, and there's not one in there. Like I can tell the difference just between these cards and the Sun and Moon cards. Like these are still better, made with better material, even though they're not as good as the the good old days, but they're still better, more better. Better, uh, better made, yeah, than the Sun and Moon stuff. So here we go. We got a Simi Seer, Tranquil, a Duat, an Oshawott, Scraggy, a Switch, a, an Energy, a Sandile, an Alamomola, Reverse, and a Rare, a Willigant. Man, we are having some terrible luck on these Trading Card Tuesdays, man. I'm telling you. Couldn't tell you the last ultra rare we've pulled on this series. It has been a minute. So, last pack magic. It's up to you, Blitz or um, Tip Striker. 
to, uh, I guess, a good redemption pack here. I mean, let's get this glue. Ugh, this glue is disgusting. All right. Up to this last pack of magic, guys. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Alright. Three to the front. We are set. Let's get it. Alright, we have a Kling, a Servine, a Pokeball, a Petalil, a Patrat, a Potion, Minchino, a Pan Sage. Look how plain. <laughs> that is the plainest looking card. There is like nothing. Oh, oh my gosh. There's like five words on this card. Tackle, collect, draw a card. This is the plainest, like most boring card I've ever seen. Just a plain silver card. I mean, look at that. That's so weird. All right, well, here we go. Let's get to the rare. Please be ultra rare. Oh, God. It is a hollow. But gosh. We are in a rut. I tell you what, our luck has not been good. Look at the weird line hollow. This is how they did them back in the black and white days. They had the weird lines going through them. But I guess it's not a total loss. We did get a hollow, but no ultra rare. Interesting. Interesting. Well, it was still a good deal. $7 for a blister of black and white. Thank you guys for watching so much. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below we do all sorts of card openings and video game related content here on this channel if you're into that sort of thing hit that subscribe button with notifications on and like always guys stay legendary